hello traders it's Samurai Trader here welcome to this short video it is uh, Friday the 29th of the 7th uh, here in Australia down under so it's after midnight of course in the US and I've just been firing off a few trades on the Globex market and I just want to go through some of these trades so I've had six out of six one was just a small winner the others were, were quite decent winners and I just want to show you those trades and give you a very very brief explanation of those for the benefits of both my members uh, and also the general public but before we get there of course uh, by law I need to put the disclaimer up uh, understanding the risk of trading if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do and uh, you'll get used to uh, seeing this little disclaimer that I'm required by law to put up now the setups that uh, I briefly explained today are all fully uh, covered in the my day traders fast track program where if you trade with trade station think or swim ninja trader and a range of others uh, or they're the main ones I give you uh, all my indicators indicator settings if you're not using those uh, and uh, 20 over 20 hours of online video instruction email support so I don't want to turn this into an advertisement anyway but please go to my website and uh, I'll send you an information kit and subscribe to my channel and you'll be kept up to date with these videos oh, and very exciting news in two weeks time we have our new website being launched with the members area so let's get into this now traders I really consider myself a patient trader that is I'm a rules-based pattern trader and I sit back and I wait for the setup I'm after specific patterns geometric patterns that appear in the markets every day now the start of this uh, um, little presentation I had this up everything is hard before it is easy but remember it's like learning how to drive a car the biggest thing in our business is head stuff that is sitting on your hands and waiting for the setups after a period of time uh, it really becomes second nature you start to recognize the patterns as they set up and as Mark Douglas talks about when it comes to trading you can't think in one or two trades you've got to think in probabilities in baskets that is you've got to be thinking over a hundred trades you know statistically you're going to come out a winner if you have the right trading setups so I have this in front of me as I trade I'm patient I'm disciplined I'm focused I'm sniper one shot one kill now one thing you're about to discover and let's get to the charts is that at times I will exit a trade early that is if I feel the market is stalled uh, that is I believe that time is not on my side I'm what you call a scalper in and out in and out I have fixed profit targets yes I'm working on extending those targets because there are times like after we have what we call a t20 or a t20-1 you usually got a new trend and you're going to gain a lot more however I've been scalping for so many years it's really hard for me to stop but hey why stop if it works so let me just give you a rundown so on the right hand side uh, and by the way we're looking at the ES chart so on the left we've got the 233 volume where this is the Globex session after hours market and you've uh, on the ES you've got tons of volume going through and uh, here we've got um, uh, the ES 700 uh, volume chart as an anchor chart and I'm going to for my members and members watching this I'm referring to that more often for the sake of members um, so you can see here members we've got a, a beautiful uh, t3 now I shorted 10 contracts up here and that was right on this point here so notice on the uh, higher time frame we've got a t3 a beautiful t3 set up and I got out here for just three ticks on the 10 contracts and the reason I got out I was just feeling um, a little nervous there that the market was stalling a little bit now remember this is a counter trend trade so I'm going to be more cautious there so I got out uh, took a small profit but then as I say you can always re-enter and what did I have what was the main signal that made me decide to re-enter was besides the reversion to the mean or the mean reversion here uh, you can see here I've got a lower high setting up so I shorted there 
and I was out so uh, that was for only five ticks if I remember I think it was five or six I can't remember now <laughs> but what I was targeting here was an expecting a bounce on the 34 which is exactly what happened you see we bounced around a little bit finally I got filled so you can see it come down here it didn't fill me to a second candle um, and uh, I was really getting a little bit worried there because it had actually gone down touched my target didn't fill me and try most of my traders know I usually go to break even them so it's just hanging on but if we go across to what's happening on the higher time frame this great mean reversion was still there so I thought I was pretty confident that was going to deliver so what I'm going to do is just expand this out trader so you can see here we then had a beautiful run here you got fantastic t20 you got t25s you've got um, trades firing off left right and center now for those that are new to my channel I have to say here I wasn't referring to any of these indicators all I was interested in was pure price action and what my EMAs were doing now for my uh, members that use the indicators down below you know we've got a beautiful uh, you had a t10 t2 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 okay you have got a 34 bounce you got basically 20 21 EMA bounce there so you had just uh, trades firing off left right and center now we then moving along when I decide to do some more trading so traders um, what a lot of you don't realize is I am um, doing lots of things in this business so I'm uh, writing manuals I'm um, uh, doing work in the hedge fund side trading in uh, my own account as well as a fund so I'm really busy so I'm not always trading uh, but I do have a set um, target of four for my personal trading $400 a day per contract that's my target so and what are we up so far with all of that well I'm up uh, five four so what's that about 540 I'm up for the day uh, per contract so that's uh, a, a really sweet day so let's have a look here so uh, this is a, a beautiful reversion to uh, the mean again here now I actually got in here late and the only reason I took this was and let me just uh, flick over to here for you the only reason I still jumped in on this trade so late where normally I would not enter so late I should have actually been in this trade up at this point but I missed it was here because of the higher time frame okay so I jumped in um, uh, later it actually then went against me and this is uh, you know we had what do we have here we had our typical 34b it went against me yes so I started to sweat but it only went against me four ticks I then shorted again now traders trading at a 0.5 percent and I know my members have heard this uh, before I'll actually risk up to a maximum of two percent uh, of my account if I see or for or if I get multiple entry signals in the direction of my trade so I can have up to four different positions open at any one time so I shorted again here based upon this lower high uh, and I think if I remember correctly we had a similar situation back on the other one but I only had one uh, the other setup the other trade but only was uh, only had one position open the other one had closed so anyway I was still short here shorted again then I shorted here again uh, and for members what was this this is the t20 first pullback the t20-1 based upon a t25 and what do we got there a t2 well you could say this is a cross between a t2 and a t10 so for those watching this for the first time we we have uh, 12 core setups you only need to learn three or four of them that I really trade all the time and uh, the others you you'll trade at times but anyway I was targeting down here the 200 EMA because look what happens bang you start bouncing this one here I went for a full uh, what was that that was six ticks there uh, I can't remember whether that was five or six that was five that was uh, six and that was five ticks on 10 contracts each so I was short 30 uh, we got out here yeah uh, a tick right through that was uh, really sweet now up here again I was uh, I ran downstairs to grab a coffee come back and what have I got here right there a t2 but this is also a t25 so for me and it's a 34b so we had multiple entry signals traders so I jumped in and shorted there targeting uh, full six ticks was the um, uh, targeting here the pivot and of course we come down here and had a beautiful pivot bounce 
and there you had it would have had another 34b okay so there's been all sorts of trading opportunities since then okay so it's been it's been a great trading day uh, and I nearly missed this other sorry traders it's actually uh, I've got six out of six so it's actually uh, one two three four five six seven out of seven I should say it's not six out of six it's seven out of seven um, and uh, well there was that little one that was good for three ticks but hey if it comes out in the black rather than the red, red as far as I'm concerned it's a it's a winning trade so here I shorted here again now this is a higher risk trade and the reason it's a higher risk we're right at the pivot level but why did I decide to take it well we can see here we're in a really strong downtrend look at all these EMAs we're in a, a lovely downtrend the higher time frame let me perhaps just flick over and let's just have a look at that there let me just show you here um, where are we here oh, it's, it's always hard when I start mucking around let me just go to this here well we can see it here so you can see where I shorted uh, right there I think I was right in on this candle but look at this here all right so we had uh, what we foot call or what I referred to uh, members in the video I did a couple of days ago remember I was talking about the 45 degree angle well of course that's in reverse but that was uh, everything was pointing down I jumped in that delivered uh, a nice six ticks so that's seven out of seven and so uh, a great trading day so traders you can learn this the, the big thing is I have to say is patience and you know earning your stripes now I know it can be it's very very frustrating for many traders there, there is no shortcuts that is I can give you well I can give you the shortcuts on the world's best strategies which I do but what I can't give you is screen time and hopefully I can slap you around a bit if I may use that term in in, a, in attempting to work with you on giving you the patience but you can learn to do this you can learn so what you're going to do is take the highest probably setups and at times it means you might only get one or two trades an hour but it's about patience anyway this is getting longer from what I wanted to, to uh, this to go so traders if you're not already a member go to my site uh, find, get, uh, request I should let me get this right request my my ebook for truth about day trading and further information about my program and uh, all drop me a line now also if you're looking at getting into the business or if you're already a trader finding it tough um, I'm happy to have a chat to you on Skype I believe I'm about the only guy that'll do that so uh, go to my website and if you'd like to have a chat uh, happy to chat to you about your past trading and uh, where I may be able to help you thank you traders oops and before we go <laughs> I've got to do this I have to put that in seven out of seven there we go <laughs> that's that's always a good feeling traders always a good feeling so there we go so I'll see you on the next recording